Hi everyone, welcome back to One Super Adventure. I'm Steve. And I'm Michael Dong. Alright, today we are at Downtown Disney and we're going to try one of the new restaurants. And let's go and check this place out. Oh, we, have a lot. we saw so many vloggers talking about it. It's kind of like it built up this like a high expectation. So finger crossed it's going to be good. Let's go. So we just finished the meal. What restaurant were we in again? Uh, I believe it's called Centrico. Centrico. C E N T I C O. Well, we love it. No, we don't. <laughs> it's kind of like it's so a, actually pretty <coughs> sad. Yeah. So we paid, uh, and I have a receipt with a tip. We paid about eighty-five. Uh, dollars ninety dollars so what did you order so I ordered a margarita to start uh, some guacamole and then we only ordered those they were pork shoulder tacos it looks beautiful and uh, and a and a uh, carne asada like a flatbread but it wasn't on a, a uh, like a pizza it was on a corn tortilla Let's go down to the drink first. How do you like the drink? The drink was good. It's good. It's worth the money. Yeah, it was. It was a well-made cocktail. Balance. Uh, it would have the right amount of alcohol. Uh, it was. Um, it, it was good. Uh, I, I liked it. Let's talk about the guacamole chip and salsa. So typically, when you go to any Mexican restaurant, correct me if I'm wrong. Usually, that's part of the meal that they provide for free. Here, you have to order them. You, you, if you, if you, you just don't get it. You don't get it uh, by order. default. So, if you don't, if you order the guacamole, you get chips and salsa. Yeah. If you don't order guacamole, you have to order your chips and salsa separately. The salsa, it tastes very elevated to me. It's not just chunk of it, you know, stuff on there. They actually pureed it. The flavor was good. It's a little bit spicy. I love that. Yeah, salsa was was very good. Yeah, and the guacamole tastes like homemade. It's lack of a, a salt in there. Yeah, when I first tasted it, it had some Oaxacan cheese on top, and that stuff is is very salty. So I thought it I thought it tasted well seasoned. But the more I ate it, first time Steve said uh, it, it needs salt, and I said no, it doesn't. And and then the more I ate it, I realized it does need salt. Now we make we make guacamole regularly often at home, and uh, and actually uh, you do a better job than that. <laughs> but I, I think the, the the fun part is that we asked the waiter uh, for salt. Yeah, we so, asked the waiter for salt. I think that was a challenge. It yeah. take a while to bring it yeah. here. And then when he brought us salt, he like reconfirmed that we yeah, need the salt. Yeah, did you ask for salt? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, okay. Anyway, so, you know, this is a Michelin star chef. And sometimes when you, we've ate at a lot of very high-end restaurants in our lifetime, a very high-end. and. Sometimes when you go to a Michelin restaurant or a Michelin uh, a, a star chef, you you never see any salt or pepper on the table. That you can always replace because they they generally speaking want you to eat their food as it's been prepared. It's a little bit of arrogance. Uh, most of the time, the food is well seasoned, but in this particular case, uh, the guacamole really really. Black salt. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go to the entree. So I hear you, because I don't like cheese, so a lot of people say cheese on the side. So, I mean, guys, would you say cheese on the side? It's not like very complicated requests. And what happened? They, they it, it caused a real problem. Is there any cheese on there? Are you gonna just go there? You don't like No, 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 just put it on the side. Um, this this one doesn't look like there's any cheese. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the kitchen in. If, if, any, if anything in there, I'll, uh, I'll have to put it on the side. Okay. okay. Put it on this. Well, I know. We, 
Uh, <laughs> it's like, so it's Oaxacan cheese and they add it to the top. They just sprinkle it on. Yeah, it's not mixed. So, it's so not added. yeah, so it's not part of the recipe per se. So they could have easily just put it on the side in a little container and then let us add it. But that was a problem. So I had to go through the menu. Steve does not like that cheese, particularly does not like that cheese. And so, and it it was, it was like every time I asked him about something, no, that, that won't work. And then he tried to ask me, well, are you, did you have a dairy allergy? I said, no, we do not have a dairy allergy. We just, my partner does not like that kind of cheese. And so it was like, it was a little bit of a problem. So a little bit of a problem. Anyway, so. we ended up ordering pork shoulder tacos. It looks beautiful. Yeah, which, which you saw, and and this uh, this uh, uh, carne asada flatbread, and uh, and this was really steak, and uh, both of them were gluten free. They were on the menu gluten free, but I got to tell you that, that again they look beautiful, but the <laughs> but the uh, the the pork shoulder taco was way too salty and the and this and this and the carne asada flatbread or look like a flatbread uh, it it was not seasoned again it lacked seasoning and uh, and it just uh, it needed salt quite frankly thank god where the salt on the table though <laughs> I need a little bit more. Oh, actually, I get a saltiness now, but I think the pickle adds a lot of flavor in that give it a little balance. Because wolf it out, it's a little bit heavy, I think, because it's slightly oily a little bit. That's a full bite. <laughs> That's a big bite. What do you think? It looks better than you taste. <laughs> Let me put a little salt in there. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed though. So the steak, it's really nicely cooked. Steak is really nice. You think it's a little bit chewy? Now put some salt and uh, salsa. Very messy. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Be honest. I wouldn't order this again. And so, um, so we were, you know, we have a restaurant. Um, I won't say the name of it, but within like a block, block and a half of my house. And uh, they have absolutely fantastic Mexican food. Homemade, have a little tortilla. lady there making uh, corn tortillas. Tortilla here tastes like from Vaughn. Vaughn Vaughn. And it's not even really cooked well. Undercooked tortilla from Vaughn. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we kind of felt like that's not order this dish again. Yeah, we'll we come back again. We will come back again. Uh, I think it's worth giving another try. They have an upscale restaurant uh, that's upstairs. I think I would like to try that. So we're gonna pay four times more and then say, <laughs> "Hey guy, just not enough flavor in there." I want to bring my own salt and a Tabasco with me. So. You know, a lot of people went to the soft opening of this restaurant. And by the way, we, we love all of you. Uh, we think, you know, uh, we love watching your programs. We watch them every day. But at least our experience was much different than what you, what the other Disney vloggers uh, said yeah. about it. And uh, again, uh, 
you know, maybe they had a maybe they had a whole different experience. Maybe it was better that night, but at least tonight it was not good. Not good. Now we're going to give it another try because we have faith in it. Uh, so hopefully the next try will be better. All right. So if you like a video like this, make sure you follow us over here. Turn on the notification bell so the time of day we release our video and follow Uncle Don at. Epicurious underscore Uncle Don on Instagram. And a lot of people was asking for cooking with Uncle Don. I finally finished editing one video. That video will be released very soon. And definitely the comment below see what type of food or recipe you want to see Uncle Don cook. Originally, want to try to do matching Disney recipe. We're still gonna try to yeah, do that. Yeah, we're still gonna do that. Yeah. We have a cookbook from Disney, so so we wanna try that. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Mooncast Multitasking Tinted Moisturizer by Ibu Beauty contains over 90% skin loving ingredients, more skincare than makeup. Our hero ingredients are hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Hyaluronic acid for hydration and brightening, aloe vera to calm and soothe the skin. Carefully designed it for anyone with concerns of uneven complexions and or dehydrated skin. Suitable for all ages, lifestyles, and skin types. For dry skin, use over a moisturizer. Give a bottle a shake before use. Dispense 2 to 3 pumps onto the palm. Massage hands together and apply to the face. Start from the center outward. Covering the face, forehead, and neck.